this video we are going to look at creating geological cross sections in Petrol 2014 and see how we can profit from the new user interface. We are going to start by using a perspective on the home tab. It's currently seismic simulation. Let's choose geology and geophysics. This filters our toolset for purely geology and geophysical workflows. First we are going to set up our windows. Let's choose a 2D window and a well section window. We are going to split these so let's choose a window line layout tiling them vertically. If we now go to the stratigraphy tab, we'll see all the workflows for working with cross sections. The settings for our cross section are stored in the little callouts in the cross section group. And here we'll change the default from creating a new oil section to using the existing one. We see now in the input tree that we have cross section 1 which we can make active and let's just change the style settings to make it appear a little bit thicker on our screen. Let's turn on the wells in the 2D window and we can use the zoom to center them. If we want to adjust the style of the wells, we can use the inspector. So if we select on a well, the inspector now comes up and we have access to the style settings where we can adjust thickness of wells. And of course the labels or the symbols. We are now ready to start adding wells to our cross section. So if we right mouse on a well, one of the tools we get are the cross section tools. Here we're automatically set into the mode of picking wells. If we pick a well, it is immediately added to our well section window. As we pick the second well, the line of section is starting to be drawn so we can go through and select our wells. If we need to edit this line of section we can use the edit tool for example to drop in between an extra well. We can add wells to the wells section using the insert tool and if we need to delete a well, we simply use the arrays functionality. Our line of section has now been set up so if we go to the well section, double click to maximize on the screen. We are now ready to start adding some data to the well section. So if we open the global well logs and select the gamma ray we see it comes up in the wells. If we want to change the style of this, we could of course go to the template but now in 2014 if we select a log we see that we get the information about it which includes the template limits and the template style. So for example we might choose to make the gamma ray 0 to 150 and we might change the color to select it and let's make it. Blue. All done. Interactively which will update the template settings. Now, to make things a little bit prettier, we can choose to color fill. And now we can adjust the scales in the windows toolbar. Let's equalize scales and use a 1D zoom to get down to our zone of interest. And we are ready to start picking some tops. Going to the stratigraphy toolbar, we get an icon for new well tops. And if we choose the well top picker, you'll see that in the call out, we can make this a horizon or a fault or another. And there's currently no active surface. So if we start picking, let's pick the sand streak at the top of our S of war. And it could be a good idea to flatten on this newly picked horizon. So right mouse on that horizon and flatten well section on the well top. To start a second horizon, we choose new well top horizon. It's now set as an active circuit. So if we pick this main stand body, we're ready to start picking across, we can use the ghost tool. And if we select the top, we get a ghost around that area, which we can then drag across to the other wells. And as we drop it release the mouse button, it will drop the top into the wells. If we complete our picking. And let's insert a third horizon at the bottom of the sand and a fourth horizon where the shale starts. We can also use the ghost curve to drop multiple tops. 
So this time, instead of selecting a top, we simply drag over this interval of interest. And now as we move this across, we can move it up and down and also adjust the tie points before hitting the drop ghost market so we can move across all of our wells. Using this methodology, we can look at our picks as a zone log. Simply select the insert update zone log and we get in our tree a zone log and we can see the beginnings of our picks. We can control the display between the wells. If we simply select a top, it be selected in the inspector. So in the template style, we can say show color fill between the wells. We might like to start working on a faces lock. Let's just zoom in a little bit. And we can select new discrete log and choose a type faces. And immediately this is added. Now, if we right mouse, we can start painting faces. So let's paint some sand. Let's do a little bit of shale. And maybe a little bit of fine sound. Based on these few picks, we can use the neural net functionality where we will choose this particular well, which is the G4 well. And we'll choose some suitable logs. So maybe gamma ray density and neutron porosity. Choose classification and we'll use supervision using the newly created faces too. If we run this, we now get a neural net version of the log and you can see how based on the choices we made we now have a complete section it would be useful to examine this in a function window so from the quick access toolbar we choose function window and in thay. Neural net model in the input tree we can select to plot for example gamma ray density colored by faces and we can see that at the low gamma ray low density we have sand high gamma ray high density we have shale and in between we have the silt. A different style to see it more clearly. To apply this neural net model across all of our walls we choose logs from neural net where we select the neural net model based on the. Neural net faces 1. And select the target wells and by hitting OK we generate in all of our wells. looking at the results we turn on the neural net model turn off our training and we have now our faces across all of our wells in 2014 we also can now control the header so if we go into our cross sections and we look at the header we can for example change the font to bold make it a little bit bigger let me see that as we apply and we can add extra fields to the subheader inserting rows or putting in extra columns and in each of these we can choose. An attribute for example the name operator perhaps the surface x, surface y. And you see now we get this in our header section this finishes our brief introduction of the well section in 2014 we've seen how we can now use the inspectors to control styles in our well section we've seen how the neural nets can be used to do rapid faces. Interpretation and of course we've seen how we can pick tops across our field. Either manually or using the ghost.